I want this training dummy. What is that? That is sick. But I'm loving the gauntlets. I'm loving the slip rolls. Yeah, this is a fantastic character. I'm loving it. Okay, so she obviously has superhuman powers with those gauntlets on. She just flipped a pool table. <laughs> My name is Noel Flater. I'm an actor and martial artist. And today we're watching season one of Arcane. Let's get into it. I want this training dummy. What is that? That is sick. I love the leather gloves. That is so cool. I love those insert shots of the slip in slow-mo to show like the focus, the energy going right back into the fight. Whatever that training dummy was, was actually amazing. We need a company to make that a real thing. That is so cool. If this was real, would I use that for training? 1000%. I'd probably be addicted to training with it. Next time I wanna see her kicking. Maybe she doesn't kick, I don't know. That was really cool. Let's watch the next clip. Ooh, mysterious. The close up on the eyes. Oh, cool, okay. She's got these like gauntlet, like metal gauntlets on her hand. So she was able to deflect the knife first, land that uppercut, that was cool. I'm loving, okay, I, I take back her kicking style. I think she's just supposed to be a boxer or have a boxing emphasis, it's really cool but I'm loving the gauntlets. I'm loving the slip rolls. Yeah, this is a fantastic character. I'm loving it. My style of the way I like filmmaking is I call it earning the wides. I love shooting medium because when you shoot medium, you can still see all of the action and it's not too far away, but I love the cutaways into the inserts, seeing the character's emotions, those close-ups on their face, their eyes, you get to feel their intention, whether they're focused, whether they're terrified, whether they're being cocky or over really excited. It's in those moments and it just takes a second to get that. But when we cut into the character's intention, oh, I love it so much. But when I say earn the wide, as a martial artist or somebody that has the ability to show really big movements, I can do all these jumping, flying, spinning kicks. It's really awesome to be able to cut wide. And the person that popularized that was Jackie Chan. Jackie was the complete opposite. He said, shoot everything wide. Because <laughs> what Jackie did was so larger than life and he's doing these insane movements everywhere. Climbing up the walls, throwing dishes, moving, dodging here, spin, flip, kick. And it was just so much acrobatic movement that his style, his Hong Kong style was shoot everything wide. I love taking elements of different filmmakers and different performers and trying to make my own. But for me, those are my favorite moments to remember is earning that wide. But what they did was showing the intention in the fight and getting those close-ups. that was so cool. Again, back with the close-ups, flying knee to the face. You can feel how vicious that was. The slow-mo speed ramp hits are so cool. You filthy traitor. You filthy traitor. There we go, there's some kicks, okay. It's a little things too when you're doing fight scenes. It's like when somebody hits the wall or hits the floor, seeing the dust come up off the floor, those dust hits showed the intention and how much force was really done. Just adding those little layers is super cool to see. I'm loving the choreography. Whoever designed the choreography for this, I don't know if they did motion capture. I'm sure they probably did. Um, they did a great job. This is very boxing slash kickboxing style, but it's very intricate where they get these close up moments and the filmmakers did a great job making you feel the impact of the fight. I would have loved to have seen like the finger inserts of like when she grabs the neck, feeling the difference of metal touching your skin. Actually, they kind of just did it right there. Perfect. <laughs> the head slams are cool. Oh, oh, oh. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, grab their face, knee them. Loving the blood, the bruising, showing that this person is not backing down from the fight. flying kick through the wall. That was a, a really fun fight. I don't know what those like flying boards are called, but like the first time I saw it was in Treasure Planet. I thought it was the coolest thing in the entire world. I've always wanted one, but incorporating one into a fight, that's insane. That grab, yeah, we don't want to drop the blue gems. I love the animation where they do the impact hits. Like every time they land these hits, they do like these like little, like, I don't want to say sparks, but this like impact hit on their faces, it's really cool. 
those little bits is like when I'm editing my videos or I'm working with my VFX guys, that was a clean kick. Adding those impact hits makes a big difference. They're so good with their inserts. I love all the close-ups and they go right back into the fight. So really the fight on this one lived more on the wide because again, when I talked about the Jackie Chan theory is that there's a larger performance being shown, right? This one, they had these flying boards. So of course they have to be in the sky. So that whole fight really lived on the wide, but they always did such a good job coming back on the close-ups to make sure you feel the energy and the intent of the characters. So good. Next fight. I love those bladed weapons on his hand. Those are cool. Another interesting thing from a performative perspective too is the colors. The use of colors is really interesting because they trail all of their colors in the fight. And it, again, it's these little elements that add a lot when I'm watching the way that they fight. Those are all real boxing techniques. Nothing she is doing is out of technique. She's not dropping her hands. She's not circling her punches. Her stance looks great. Her head movement is even better. I'm loving whoever did the boxing fighting for this character. And again, love the use of colors. You get to really see a distinct energy from all the different characters in the room. That makes it really fun watching a fight like that. Those inserts, quick, 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 go. Kind of reminds me of like a Edgar Wright, like style of how he does his inserts in like movie like Baby Driver. Those are always super fun to see right into a fight scene. Love the wides, love to establish the room, come outside the world, see that they're fighting, and then we come back into it. <laughs> I love the throwing the shot glass across the room. Okay, so she obviously has superhuman powers with those gauntlets on. She just flipped a pool table. <laughs> oh, the blades are so cool. What I love about this as well, another element I'm really enjoying is the pacing and the speed of the fight. There's always this beautiful marriage between being too slow or being way too fast. It's usually the latter, especially for animation, is that it gets too fast that you can't even see what they're doing. I love that it's a little bit faster than real life speed, because real life speed, people aren't moving that quick, but it's fast enough to make you believe that there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of intention, but slow enough to really show you the movements and you can see and appreciate the choreography and what's actually happening with the characters. That's something I actually helped work on for Mortal Kombat 1 for that game, really showing the movements of all the characters in the way that we did in the game. Because most video games, if you guys are familiar, you just play a video game, you just button smash, you just see, it's just crazy. You can't really appreciate the details of the movements. That was fantastic. So my overall recap of season one of Arcane, I loved how much I could really see. I loved the different styles of all the characters involved. It felt like every character was unique. It felt like I could see all of their movements. They did such a great job of cutting and showing how everybody's intention was in the fight. It was really fun, really well done. Love the use of colors. But if you guys wanna see me comment on season two, let me know down below in the comment section. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.